I am Dr. Anushil Munshi. I am the head radiation oncology at Manipal Hospital, Dwarka. 4th February marks the World Cancer Day. It's not a day only to be remembered as a cancer day on that particular day, but to carry that uh, memento, that feeling and that preparedness throughout each day of the coming year and the years ahead. India has a population of around 1.25 billion. Nearly 10 lakh cancer patients are added to our population every year. That's the incidence we have. And that's why we need to be on our guard because this incidence is rising and especially in the developing world such as ours. There are various risk factors that are present for uh, a cancer to happen. Many of these risk factors we cannot do much about. We cannot do much about the race we belong to. We cannot do much about age or sex or our genetic makeup and so on and so forth. But there are many, many factors that we can do something about. Take the case of tobacco. I would say this is killer number one as far as cancer and other diseases are concerned. Avoid tobacco in all forms, cigarette, pan masala, BD, any other form, gutka and others. Alcohol, avoid it as far as possible. Even if it has to be consumed, it has to be consumed in extreme, extreme moderation. Better to even avoid, avoid taking alcohol as well. What are the things that we need to do? I've spoken about what we need to avoid. What are the things we need to do? We need to take care of our lifestyle, our habits, our dietary patterns. In terms of our lifestyle, we need to maintain a lean body weight. Avoid being overweight at any point of our lifetime. Take a healthy diet that should include fruits, vegetable and plant sources. Physical activity around 150 minutes of moderate activity every week spaced equally on each day of the week. All these things we need to incorporate in our habits, in our lifestyles. These are the things that need to be done. Also what needs to be done is something which is called as screening. And screening is a tool that helps us to detect cancer very, very early. And there are various sites for which early screening tools are available such as breast, such as lung, such as colorectal, such as cervix malignancies. And for all these and other malignancies, the cancer specialist is the best guy to tell you which screening tool you should undergo at what point of your life. The other thing that needs to be done is to report early to a doctor whenever you have any kind of symptom and we know what symptoms are usually generally associated with cancer such as weight loss, unexpected weight loss, bleeding from any site, a lump, an unexplained cough that persists for a long time and so on and so forth. We are very very aware of all these things so one should not delay once if once one has uh, seen these symptoms happening in, in, your, in, in your own body and the, the, we, we know we have been in this pandemic for almost a year now and we are now in a phase where we are trying to come off, out of it now with the vaccination and other things around but the message that I would like to give is that while all our efforts are going on and we are so much focusing on uh, vaccination and this virus and COVID and other things we should not forget that there are other things in the body that need to be taken care of as well and cancer is one of them and let us build a society that is free of all these malignancies and cancer and diseases such as, such as these and we can go a long long way if we follow the advice and the simple 
methods that I have suggested on 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 the occasion of the cancellation. With, with this, thank you so much. Thank you.